Hey, folks. So we have a small, I would say not a small, but an intimate group. So if you're here and wanted to participate in this session, feel free to come closer. That way I get to see your names, talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Perfect, perfect. That's right. Don't be shy, Ryan. If you come up closer, you'll be able to actually ask questions. We can have a nice conversation, too. And then stragglers from the back, if you're interested in uh, just getting a good sense of how cloud is going to be used to power and work with these cool electric scooters, feel free to come up as well. Anyway, uh, I'm joined today by Peter Lee. Peter, hi. Uh, yeah, can we turn Peter on as well? Because we're going to chat back and forth. Awesome. Uh, so I'm Nigar Kushram. I am the Helion, uh, HP Helion <coughs> Technical Marketing Lead. We're good? OK. Uh, and <coughs> today we're talking about uh, something that's related to a way you can build out cool experiences with Irby and cloud. Now, some of you may have not seen Irby. Ha has, you, has anybody seen Irby before, an electric scooter like this? No. Well, today and at this conference, you'll see a few people riding around here in this building and right across the street. Uh, we have at least six, seven more Irbys. That's right. And we have a lot of fun going on there. And the reason why we brought Irby and Cloud together, HP Cloud, is because we're trying to think about a way to, um, to demonstrate how you can use Cloud to solve complex enterprise problems. So when you think about transportation, and you think about something like an electric scooter, you'd say, well, what does cloud have to do with it? Right? Like, you think about it. This is a scooter. This is cloud. What does OpenStack have to do with it? Well, here's a couple of thoughts. One is we have a very clean, slick, engineering, pristine design. How many years did you guys spend coming uh, up with it? It's taken us about two and a half years to design and develop the Irby. Uh, we've uh, it has multiple design and uh, utility patents on it. It's made out of aircraft grade aluminum and carbon fiber. Um, it's all produced in California. And uh, our goal was to make something super compact, very durable, durable. We wanted a range of 20 miles, a speed of 15 miles per hour, and something that would just be able to be used on an everyday basis for people who live in cities all over the world. And it folds up like this, and it's really simple to get around. You know? So, durable. Uh, some of these terms like durable, well designed. This applies to Helion OpenStack as well. This is our uh, OpenStack distribution from HP Helion. And when we think about HP Helion, uh, we actually think about enterprise grade, durability, um, a lot of thought put into working with customers to understand how customers are using our product. Well, the same could be said about Irby. So we're talking about durability. What's the, how big can you be and still ride the, the Irby? So the biggest guy we've had on the Irby is Shaquille O'Neal. He rode one of our first prototypes, uh, and it was amazing. You know, we used 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. So the ability for something this lightweight to hold that much weight is incredible. Uh, and people have been using it all over the world uh, in very, very rigorous environments, and, um, and it's held up really well. So in our case, our cloud holds up very well. So when we're thinking about uh, sort of from a product standpoint, we want to make sure that our cloud can stand up a lot of stress. Uh, we're able to monitor operations of HP Helion Cloud with the operations console. We call it HP Helion Ops Console, very creative name. But you're able to see in one place a lot of data coming from uh, monitoring at scale, Monasca project, Logstash, being able to aggregate this information and see the performance of underlying VMs. Now, all this is being kind of boring way of pitching our cloud, but what I was actually interested in in, in doing is talking about how we think about putting this electric scooter, Irby, and the cloud together. So when we're thinking about also designing with something like portability, flexibility, ease of use, that's what we do as well with Helion HP OpenStack. But when we st start to think about a way to mash up cloud together, it actually happened at another conference. I walked, walked into the store, Irby store in Pasadena, and I had a conversation with Peter and his team saying, hey guys, do you have a cool electric scooter? What can we do with it? Can we add something to it? Um, for example, a camera, a GPS unit, a Raspberry Pi that is able to take data um, such as telemetry data, battery life, um, accelerometer, 
uh, any other components, any other sensors, because at that time I was building an IoT demo, and we had all these sensors laying around essentially. Being able to see real-time performance of uh, a scooter uh, is no different than seeing real-time performance of your car, like Tesla, or if you have a, 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 a any any kind of fleet uh, trucks, for example, you're able to see where they are, etc. And um, it just occurred to me this would be a cool way for us to test out uh, a scenario with Irby. So what we did is we said, hey, we're going to put a bunch of sensors on an Irby, and then we're going to wrap it all with cloud. And when I say cloud, it actually is not just one cloud. We actually have Helion OpenStack, private cloud. We also use Azure. We use, we use Cloud Foundry for dashboards. And all of this became the Irby experience that we actually have um, in at, at OpenStack. And in fact, you get to ride these. And you know, we, we're thinking about like what, it, what, can, what are the real-life real applications. One is fleet management. So you guys have hotels that use it, right? Yeah, when we built the Irby, we were just solving the pain points of living in cities. That last mile solution, that, that ability to use public transportation and then go to your work or uh, have a meeting or eat with somebody uh, outside in a city where parking is really hard. Um, and so we built that, the Irby to be very compact and lightweight and portable. And then when we started selling the product to consumers, businesses started con contacting us, hotels, uh, delivery services uh, like Companies like an Instacart, Dash, uh, um, uh, real estate companies that own multiple properties all over New York and Boston and Chicago and LA and San Francisco. And they said, look, you know, this is amazing that we can have a product like this that we can allow our tenants and guests to get around cities much easier without an Uber, without a Lyft, without a taxi. Because it folds up so easily, they can cruise out anywhere in 20 miles in range and then all of a sudden put the Irby into a, an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi, multiple, three, four Irbys, and then come back to a hotel and you're fine. You have total freedom. And then they said, well, how do we manage this? And we said, um, well, there's certain s little uh, uh, consumer products like Tile and GPS systems. But then when we met with HPE, they said, look, this is something that's really uh, actually perfect for a cloud system that could allow corporations and businesses, both small and big, to really track how far their product is going, how far their Irby is going, where are the, where are the um, pain points of, of fleet management. And uh, we said, this is really amazing. And then we started getting people who are using it on uh, movie studios and uh, resorts and uh, <laughs> other places like that, and uh, in not only in the US, but Singapore and, and Korea, Seoul, Korea, Tokyo, London, Paris. And there's a huge need for this type of product to do that solves the last mile, but there's also a huge need for cloud technology to allow people to intelligently manage this on a very seamless basis. So, so when you think about an Uber and tracking car location, when you think about a, uh, sh a delivery uh, of shipments, so ordering from Amazon and tracking where your package is, it's the same kind of problem, and we're solving it very creatively. So you see a dashboard here. It's, a, it's running Node.js, HTML5, Canvas. Um, on uh, Cloud Foundry, which runs on Helion OpenStack. Again, it's an OpenStack distribution that supports the entire platform. Uh, we added a camera, so we essentially have cameras that are able to stream uh, video, uh, live stream it into Swift object storage. So when you think about OpenStack and a way to uh, capture streaming data, it's very cost efficient. Um, but at the same time, when you think about a taxi or, or a Lyft or, an, or, uh, or a truck, and you have a video camera, you at the same time want privacy. You don't want to have uh, necessarily concerns around public cloud and storing sensitive customer information, such as delivery information, somewhere in, 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 the, in the public cloud. Uh, so we've uh, tested out some of these scenarios and found them to be very kind of cool. Um, we also decided to put together a fun little challenge. Uh, and uh, it's a. Essentially, it's a delivery challenge. There's a little bit of a quiz, a little bit of a riding the Irby really fast around cones, and uh, all of that is at the, <coughs> uh, at the textile lounge uh, across the street from the convention. In fact, if you walk right across out of those doors uh, during a break, you can test ride the Irby. Uh, you can also see how we build out this challenge. You actually see here a, uh, a RFID-based delivery system. So every time you ride up to one of these plates, you're able to scan a specific badge. It's our FID technology. Uh, we feed that into a data stream, and into RabbitMQ, running an OpenStack 
uh, and then we're able to then aggregate the data and see a dashboard of competitors that are competing for the fastest time around the lap and for the most answered questions. So you can actually see the lead leaderboard in the back end and um, background, and you can see a guy that's riding really fast around. So bottom line is we wanted to show just a little bit of a snippet of what's possible when you take something which is really awesome design, uh, electric scooter that right. has uh, a great, great set of utility, and then combine that with a cloud technology that's able to take data battery life data, GPS location data, sensors, uh, and uh, be able to integrate it together for a really, truly <coughs> enterprise great experience. And that's essentially what Irby has done with HP Helan. Now, I know we have a couple more minutes left. Uh, you guys are welcome to come up to take a look, uh, maybe even just yeah, you can very ride gently it, ride it around here. Yeah, ride around here or something uh, without crashing into much many things. And yeah. ask us questions. We're here. Eric, you want to ride, I can see. Guys, any questions at this point? Come on up and ask us. Uh, I'd actually like yeah, to sure. take one, one second, one, one, off, one thing that what we love about HP, what they've done is they've added a lot of sensors. Every single one of these holes not only lightens the frame, but it also is an attachment point for accessories. Like the iPhone and the App Store, we created Irby as just a solid platform for innovators and designers to create products that allows the Irby to match people's lives. Uh, a better, anything from like a physical product like a better yoga mat holder, a better basket, a better cup holder, a better sensor system, a better tracking, a fleet GPS system. This is what Irby's all about. Um, and we can do that really rapidly, quickly, because we build them all in California. So, uh, thanks. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate the partnership. Yeah, thanks, yeah. All right, guys, questions? You can come for a ride up here. <laughs> 